Hey everybody, Eric here. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the patched version of Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition. The patch just released, I'm pretty sure. And uh, the reason why this patch is kind of significant is because I'm really interested to see the performance, the overall performance um, of Chrono Cross because when it released last year, it was kind of like a... Uh, <laughs> kind of botched, I suppose. You know, the frame rate was pretty sketchy. It just overall could have been a heck of a lot more smooth experience. So we're jumping right in. I've already updated it. Um, and I'm interested to see how it's going to look. It's funny because the the fan community pretty much stepped in and patched the Steam version like within a couple of weeks um, of this being released. And, you know, we haven't had an updated version on console. So I'm playing on the Switch. So I'm pretty keen to see how it's going to look. I don't know if it's going to look any bit smoother or, or whatever, or still going to retain some choppiness. So thankfully, we can jump straight into a couple of battles here and see if it looks any bit different. Now, this is a classic game. I love Chrono Cross. Um, I don't love it as much as Chrono Trigger. Do I think it's a great sequel? Kind of. Um, all right, let's have a look at the, the home home screen here. Seems to be. I don't. I don't remember specifically how it was prior, but uh, it was. It seemed like it was running pretty smooth at like 60 frames there for like five seconds, and then uh, it's still pretty jittery and stuttery. So I don't know. It is square we're talking about here, after all. So we're gonna keep our expectations really low. <laughs> all right, let's set up a uh, a new file. We'll do do a couple battles, and then we can see how we go. So I always like to keep my character default in terms of names. Now Chrono Cross, of course, I'm sure if you've clicked on this video, you already know. You start from kind of halfway through the game. And I love these classic CGI cutscenes, pre-rendered cutscenes. It was always such a treat to see these back on the PlayStation 1. Now, when we do finally play, get into playing, we have a random party every single time. So the third character is always somebody different. Never consistent. Okay. Let's go ahead and walk around, see how it performs. I remember it being pretty choppy. Like around, like not that my eyes can see frame rates, you know what I'm saying? But like I know a, a decent 30, a decent 60 frames. And then anything less than that can, can tend to be pretty choppy, so. Seems to be okay so far. All right, let's, uh, let's start wandering around here and get into some battles. Seems a little bit more smooth than what I remember anyway. I remember playing through the 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 original non-patched version last year and thinking, oh man, that's uh, not super great. So thankfully there's some battles that we can walk into straight away here. Some portions of it, I remember running at 60 frames. I mean, that seems to kind of speed right into a battle. This looks pretty okay here. Doesn't seem to be stuttering at all, just idling. Now, unfortunately I don't have a frame counter, but uh, obviously, I, I, I am capable of recording at 60 frames, and this seems to be running at 60 frames. Okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, you know what? I have to say, I... I, I kind of think they fixed it! This is nuts! It's so funny because it seems like such a first world problem thing to complain about. Oh no, the frame rate of my game. But it's like, come on, this is like a 20 odd year old game. Like, why can't we upscale it? Why can't we like force a specific fixed frame rate? Especially on the Switch. I mean, the Switch is, is not anything fancy in terms of hardware. Um, but yeah, I, this is... This is... I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Maybe Square is finally getting their act together. I don't know. <laughs> so, I, you know what? I mean, it's still going to be a little bit stuttery and jittery at certain points, and, and that's to be expected. But, I mean, if we can get, like, a mostly smooth experience, 
I'll be a happy customer. I might even play through the game again. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the thing with Chrono Cross is that there's so many different uh, possibilities for playthroughs as well because, you know, different endings and different characters. I mean, I always like to go the route with uh, getting Glenn. I've never actually played without getting Glenn because I always try to get the, uh, the optimal party or the optimum party. Uh, and of course, I think there's like, you can get some rainbow gear or something, so you do need to go through, I think a total of maybe two or three times to get everything, so. But I mean, just even idling here, this is this is nuts. And it seems like such a silly thing to be so over the moon about, but uh, I'm quite content. I mean, like, I've never seen Chrono Cross look this smooth. This is fantastic. I'm being totally genuine here as well. And no, I'm not playing the game correctly. I know that there's specific ways that you can build up your attacks and whatever, but don't matter. We're just we're just here to look at it for uh, for fun. So, um, man, I think this is this is great. You know, I I can't speak for the rest of the game, but I dare say if you know midway through in the the Dragon Tower uh, is is optimized, the battles are 60 FPS. Why wouldn't the rest of the game be so? I think that's fantastic. I, uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. We'll finish this, uh, this battle off here. We'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. That's great. I think I'm, I'm totally stoked. There you go. I've, I've, you guys have obviously played Chrono Cross. I mean, if you're watching this, if you're interested in the, uh, the update, see how the update looks. Um, what do you guys think? Are you happy? Does this, does this look great to you? I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. So there you go. We'll love you and leave you. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. And let me know if uh, you're actually as surprised as I am that Square would actually come through and, and patch a game. And perhaps it is better late than ever. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, consider me blown away. Chrono Cross Radical Dreams Edition. It's fixed!